Hi, welcome. This is DK Cyber from Cyber One Defense. So yes, we have begun our tutorial on YouTube. Thank God that you found this channel finally, right? So yes, if it is your first time here, if you like what we do, then you subscribe to this channel, right? Now, what we're going to do here is that this channel talks about four major things. We talk about cybersecurity and ethical hacking. We talk about forensic. We talk about tech styles, things that you need to know. And we talk about how you can build your space. Or you can build yourself on the space, right? So, yes, we're talking about cybersecurity and ethical hacking. We're talking about forensics. Yes, we can also talk about pen testing, right? Penetration testing. But we are looking at the basic way, right? From all the way from beginner to advanced. And even if you watch our content and you're an advanced person, you, you still add up into your knowledge, right? We should understand that YouTube, this YouTube, there are some certain things that we cannot say here. There are some certain things that we are not privileged to do. So everything you get here is for only educative content, right? It's for education, right? So all the things we are going to do, we are getting into access into devices. It's going to be our own devices we are having access to, right? Now, any knowledge you get here, it's advisable to use it for yourself, right? So yes, that is a disclaimer out there that we are not here promoting anything about hacking and tracking and styles, right? But we are here for education purposes. So there are instances where we talk about how to track your phones, how to get locations and all those stuff just for personal use, right? So today, the reason why you end up here is that we are going to show you step by step, easy way. We don't believe in the hardcore way. We believe in the easy ways today how you can be able to get access into a mobile phone right so it's going to be our own mobile phones and we're going to get access into it but you're going to see some of the advanced features that you have right i won't talk much this is cyber one defense this page deem subscribing do subscribe to us like it follow us right we give you a declaration that follow us for three months and you will see your capacity in knowledge in terms of cyber security tech would increase right so just practice what we show you and then you are damn good to go right so here today i'm using so you could see that i'll be using uh my kali linos here right so this is my kali linos screen here so let me just minimize the stuff that i had on my screen here right here so yes i'm using my kali linos screen so this is kali here and kali is basically i'm going to show you how you can install and do all those things in upcoming videos but today it's presumed that you're able to install your Kali Linux. Now, Kali Linux is just a Linux distro, right? Knowing Kali Linux doesn't guarantee you of hacking. Is that okay? Yeah, so it's going to give you the environment whereby we're going to operate, right? But the tool we are going to use today, you should be able to also use it in the Windows environment. But we are focusing today mostly on the Linux environment right now. So the tool we are going to use here, so we go online. So just go to online, right? Now, when you go online, you can just search. You can just do a simple search. Let me go back here. Now, just do a simple search. It's called Phone Sprout, right? Phone Sprout, right? GitHub. Then just add a GitHub to it. You look for this man, big bro, Azim Idris, right? He developed, he, he worked on this project, right? Now, so it's an already project developed. But look at it. The substantialness of this program is that it's just nine month updates, two month updates. So this project is being updated, right? So it meets the current demand, right? Yes. So we are building up our knowledge through already developed applications, right? So this is an open source tool, but it's going to do wonderful for us, right? So now look at this tool. So this tool is just a complete automation to get meta sessions and other, just a simple click, right? So we are making your life easy for you. No too much ways in hacking and all those things, right? Easy way that you can get access into devices right so you, you have the version one here version 1.1 here version two and all those things. let's look at what the two how we can just install the two and look at the things that we can get right so all that we have to do is that you just have to go to this here copy code here right then just copy the code right then just go to your line your your terminal right so here it could be anywhere you want to you just want to just drop it so you just do like that and you paste it here so the thing you copied, you just come and paste it on a clipboard like that's right. So pasting it like that, you just started because it's from GitHub, right? We are cloning the repository. So you could you could just start it. You could just start it with git clone, right? So here just say git clone, 
right? So this get clone is just cloning for you. And if you see that right now, I'm root at Kali. So that means I have a super command, a super user. It should, in case I wasn't root, I would have done what? Sudo. Sudo git clone, right? So yes, it just git clone it. It just run for you. The tool has already been installed on my system. So you just press enter and it will just get installed for you. Simple, right? Now, if you've, you finish running that code, what's just going to happen to you is that you just do ls, you see the two there, right? So if I should do ls here, I could see the two being there for me, right? So I do ls here, you could see a lot of tools that I have downloaded in there, right? So, yeah, so that's that right here. So, yeah, so there are tools there. Now, the tool that we are going to get into is going to call cd, you say change directory to what? Phone exploit pro, right? Enter like that. Now we are in the two, right? So all that we do is ls here. Now you could see that now here we have the two here being developed or being cloned here into our repository for us now it tells us here that this is the same command i just run in case you just want to do copy and paste we can just do it here git clone into it then cd then say like continue like like that so here i'm just going to do like this here so what i'm going to do now is that i want to see if there are some other requirements i need to install right so because if you look at the two the tool has come with a lot of requirements they need from you these are the requirements right you need python you need pip you need adb yes android uh, db you need a metasplitable framework you need what the srp um scapi we need the nmap right so these are the requirements that you need right so these are the requirements we need so assuming we don't have such requirements but you should have them so you can just go through the manual installation so like pip you can just say apps, you can just say apps, apt get, let's say install, then say pip like that. You can just install that over there for yourself, right? So, but we don't want to go through one after the other. You can install them one after the other. If not to, all that you can do is that you can just do, you can just install all with just a requirement command, right? So it just stays this here, right? Just do pip install and get the requirement, right? So before you run pip, you should have pip installed, right? So if the first time open Kali, right i normally have a video on pimp my Kali. i'll show you how to do that right but all that you can just you can also do apt apt get install pip right you just to install the pip then you start using the pip command so pip install uh, install r for requirements right then you just press enter right so requirements so you are just installing this requirement here now so after doing that now the two is the two and the two are developing python Right, so we can actually look at how even the code is right. Normally, I love doing that, right? So I can just do, I can just use any test editor, EB Nano or JDIT. So I can just do JDIT, uh, JDIT, and I say phone sprite like that. Now, so I'll get the the code right here. So you could see the code was developed. They have some inscriptions here, right under it. Then you could see that they imported some kind of libraries, right? So it's a very lengthy code that shows you. How, so this one is just requesting for listening devices is disconnecting device so that means these are all functionalities that the program provide right so now quickly let's get into how the program is being run how to run a program because it's a python program what that we call it you say python 3 then you call out the program from exploit pro but you are enter like that do you want to continue yes yes so then we continue like that now look at it wonderfully now we say we can connect a device we can list connected devices disconnect all devices scan the network for devices right we can mirror and control devices Woo. we can get screenshot recording we can download files from devices remotely we can send files run files there are so many crazy styles we can do with it too right we can just go here to next page it's, it's a next here next you just have to press n so just press n like that you go to next page let's all for the same sms copy whatsapp data you can copy whatsapp data anonymously screenshotting anonymously screen recording open link play video all these kind of stuff could be done restart the devices you can do that so we can actually go to and again to see all the things that this device uh, these two could do for us so you can see that's a lot of pretty good things so we just go to previous and previous here we come back to one here now so connect the device so now we could connect the devices through adb right so you can have this one today whatever we are doing we are doing for ourselves so the the victim today is here this is the victim here right so the victim is my own phone right that i'm going to hack into right so i'm going to get into my own phone hack into my own phone without stress without stress 
without stress right so all that we're going to do next is that we're going to scan for devices we'll go to option four here so you go scan network for devices now here so we are scanning the network for the devices connected so it's scanning for me right so i'm just going to fast track the video for it just to come after the scanning i'll show it to you right here great so after scanning the network so it scanned the network you can see that it scanned my ip right so uh to get more information here you could come here right so here you could cut just let me just do ipa right here so i get my ip address here look at my ip address here my ip address 192.1c.100.155 here right so that is it so it's kind of on that ip it's kind of on my my ip 192.1c.100 that is my network right so right now the device i'm attacking is the device here so you could see other devices connected but i'm attacking this 77 that's the device i'm attacking tonight right now so what i'm just going to do right now is let me just do 99 to clear screen to come back here now so right now i'm just going to get access to the device we are not we are we want to get access to the device so you could see here option 15 says a hack device right so we won't hack the device so you just press on 15 like that and look at the magic happen you just press on enter right it start open for you right now this attack will launch metasplitable framework so it's using the msf console right we're going to show to you in other videos how the msf console really works wait until you see metapreter so we are waiting then help command so some of the things that we can run is a help to see all metapreter commands right so the command that metapreter has now to exit metapreter is just to press exit right so exit from the msf venom it's also or console is also minus y to use right so right now we just have to press enter right and we say we also press enter here and we are creating a payload now we have means of attacking device by finding a vulnerability exploiting the vulnerability attacking the system then here what that we are doing is that we want to right now we are developing a payload and it's being sent onto the android phone remotely because that android phone has been connected to our device and that's what we're doing so you could see right now that metaspreadable has been open we have the metaspreadable document so we are waiting for the session to be created right you see the session is going to be created it's just a simple command automation right it's doing it for you without stress is that okay so we are doing it one after the other that's why i've taken more time to explain to you right how to use this tool very simple now you could see something here look at something now i showed to you my ip address 192.10.100.155 right so when you come here you can see that that ip address is here that's the l host i'm hosting it that we are working on a port a port is a logical right beginning and ending of a connection so we are using port 4444 right and today we are using what a tcp handler right now so here you can see that metapreter session one has been open and open between looking I open between the IP address 192.1.100.155 and also the dot seven seven. I told you the IP we are hacking. That was the seventy seven here, right? And it's also running here. So right now the job is done. You are doubting me? Oh, you don't you don't trust DK anymore? But right, let me show you something. Why not just run a help command here to see the commands I have? Look at something here now so here we can do a lot of stuff so we can record the mic we can record the web chat and all those things right so it's just a matter of just copy and drop them right so you can find the uh wi-fi uh the, the the information display the interface so we can just copy this guy here like that copy like this and just come down here then just paste it here so paste it just just copy and paste it here it gives you look at it it gives you the details the there's some basic information here about it right so right now i'm much interested in doing something crazy i'm much interested in doing something crazy so what i want to do is that i want to get all the calls this phone has ever done so i'm going to call out the call log on the phone remotely look at this magic happening here quickly just easily by just just a command so right now what are we going to look is that we are going to get in from that call it damn calling right so you just copy this like that copy then you just come all the way down here and just say what paste here paste on clipboard then you just do enter then wait for the magic to work now look at something call log save to call login like that so right now we have a file called is .txt and that is the name call log right so right now we just go into we can just open another file here uh we can just open here let me just open another file here like that right here 
So all that I'm just going to do is I'm just going to navigate to that directory, right? So what I'm going to do is that it's on, I have saved it on my, on my apps, right? So, so I just say CD, I just say here, uh, so, so here, let me just, let me just be a pseudo user. I love being a pseudo user. It's not so like here. And so what I will do here, we say where we are now here is that we are on the DK, right? So we just say CD into the apps directory and to all the way to the soft, right? To all the way to my folder called soft, then to what we call the, the phone plot, right? The phone plot right here. Now enter here, we are directly into that, right? So what I will do is LS here, you could find it here, call log here, right? So call log here, we say, we now say cut because it's a file. So we cut what call log like that and look at something here. Look at it, right? So the number called DK Cyber, this is my official number, he called me on Saturday as I was recording this video. We spoke for only 12 seconds, right? If the number called here and there's a laugh on it. The number called Bennis, the phone called Bennis, and other stuff, crazy stuff are happening here. Woo! So you see here, just a simple way we've been able to hack into the device with just a simple click command. Now I tell you that hacking could be easy if you know what you are doing. You need the knowledge, right? Don't rush into it. Now, don't call yourself name. People call you script kid. People call you hacker. You create your own tools. That's fine. Understand how the concept works and you can create your own tools. Now, the tool, I have the source code. I could enhance the tool in case it's not working because I understand programming. You get the point, right? So, all that we are showing to you is that there are powerful, already open source tools for you that we can rely on to do a lot of crazy stuff, right? So, I said I follow Cyber One Defense and give us three months. And we will show you the way from basics to advanced. Even from advanced, you can get more knowledge. Right? This is DK Cyber. Please follow us. Share, subscribe, subscribe to our platform. Follow us on all social media handles and subscribe to this YouTube channel and share for someone to be part of this great community. Thanks.